of the University Coalition of Liberians, or GED Cole, to PDS Calvary High School Alumni Association, Borgoja College Zulu, Liberian Women's Initiative, Family, and um, the family, we limit that to family. So we want to take two minutes um, to be able to finish up and meet our quota for this cemetery today. So for the first list in here we have is the organization of Liberians in Minnesota, the OLM. We're going to come forth with their choosing pastor who we have to Is anybody from the organization of my in Minnesota here in class? Do you have a president? If so, ask me please join me when you keep your seat where you are. Uh, I was moved when I listened to the pastor who preached and I asked the person I could have sent to me. I said I would make him a duty to visit his church. I just think it's cool, it's peaceful. I have something to give today, and that has to do with our soul. The left to live here is just on earth, and when we leave, it wouldn't bother the remains. So, that rebounding of an American poet, Henry Walsall Longfellow, and I will just read two of his verses from his prime songs of life. On behalf of the Liberian community, the chairman of the board of directors, and the entire library staff and volunteer, we extend to this period family our deepest condolences on this transformation from earth to heaven. To all the years, many librarians have given their share of contribution and services to the community, and at some stage, some time in point, this level. Henry was what Longfellow said in the book. Tell me not a more for hunters. Life is but an empty grave. For the soul is there that slumbers and thinks are not what it seems. Indeed, life is real, life is honest, and the grave is not as cold. Dust that are to dust returning, but this one never spoken of our soul. Thank you. That's Brother Kamadi, he's the leader of the order, the organization of libraries in Minnesota. We now have the Cotton University, and presentation is going to be done by Region 4, CUUA, and then the, the National Association is going to do the actual tribute, Cotton University.
do the tribute for Cassington University Alumni Association in the Americas. Um, so everything is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Theo was a beautiful woman, a caring woman as we all know. For me, what I remember is uh, when, Tio, when you see Tio, even if you're feeling bad, her smiles alone will make you happy. And I'll go further, I'll just say, I think even if you're hungry and she smiles, your stomach will be full. Okay? So, um, so the um, James, the gay, and Karua family. I say in our Liberian way, no my God. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. It is well. Tio, goodbye, huh? Until we meet again, and I'm getting up one. Amen. That's our song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Scott and Don University alumni. In America. Thank you, alumni. Scott and Don University. Now we have the collation of librarians on the call. Coalition of Liberians on DED Gold, do we? So, flow to St. Peter's Calvert High School Alumni Association. Good morning, church. Good morning, morning. Here they come. D. St. Peter Clare High School Alumni Association of North America. If there is still anybody in this edifice that went through the walls of St. Peter Clare High School, please stand in your place or join us here on the altar. My name is Samuel S.S. Kier. I've been designated 
by our president, Dr. Marco A. Wana, to pay tribute on behalf of D. St. Peter Clower High School, Lower Buchanan Brown Basel County, arguably or inarguably the most astute high school in the Republic of Liberia. <laughs> James Gaiezon Sefa Sedmo, you say here that we want to order God more is a bonafide outstanding graduate, the Paradise class of 1987, my friendly competitor in that class. Do we need any further evidence? Do we need any further verification or validation that left it short and unpredictable. Gather ye rose birds while ye may, because time is a fly. The same flower that is smiling today could be gone tomorrow. Amen. What do you say to a husband who is crushed in spirit? What do you say to a family of a rambocious, less loving person who has vanished so quickly? Jimmy? Yes, Thomas. We have not been able to identify the wars, to express how deeply sorrow we are for your loss. But when the president designated me as a president, why you are here, is it appropriate for the secretary of the Alumni Association to pay tribute? He said, God, what is your brother? is a family member. I designated you to go ahead. And I'm grateful to him because I missed the opportunity last night. I was at the airport and didn't get a chance to speak to you and speak to Tio directly. Because after all we have gone through, you my brother, you mean, my parents actually regarded you as a member of our family, if you know that. From flour mill in Bikinon, Grand Basel County. So I missed the opportunity because when I had a chance to meet you the first time, to meet you the first time, after barely two minutes, two minutes, two seconds, it appeared that she had known me for what, 25 years. And then she said to me, Comrade, what is on the agenda for discussion? I said, Sister, I'll have to speak and we'll make some analysis. And then as the year progressed, I got to know to you a little better. It was a calm soul, contagious, communicable smile. Somebody said from the CUC that even if you are hungry and feel up here, your God will get full. Your gastric organ will get full because Tio was present. But you mean, this is not easy. Let us not pretend. There are stages in the grieving process. You might have gone through some of them. That could be denial. Is this happening to me for real? But today, as my SIL last year and my children for what ended to you, I thought my behavior was for somewhere here. I thought we'd be able to be there, but I would intersperse it with the Samuel Care family as well. Is my wife somewhere here? My, my beautiful wife? Okay, darling. Yeah. So, um, 
Jimmy, let me not pretend. I don't understand what is happening you are going through, but I go and rest somewhere. I go and rest somewhere. That our omnipotent, our ever present God will work away every tear of those who mourn. And then mourning and grieving and crying and being might be no more. Because all of those things shall have passed away. On behalf of thee, thee, St. Peter Clower High School, Illumina Association of North America, Jimmy, we have come today to stand with you, to move with you, to cry with you, to really grieve with you and the entire family of you because this hit us very hard. And the detail will be historical. Because we didn't see this coming, and it was too abrupt. So today, this is what I want to say. Today, I do not know if there's a left fan or if there's a timetable for grieving. But no matter how long it takes for you to grieve, one thing that I'm as sure of. I do not profess to be a preacher, but I know the Lord Himself is really, really close to the brokenhearted. I have read somewhere that He really binds the wounds and He heals the pain of those who are crushed in spirit as you are today. So let me just say on behalf of all your brothers and sisters here, obviously, Shaggy gave you baby, so we got seven grade. But Jimmy, as a brother and a friend, we know that God will be in control, but this will be difficult. Because every time you and Tio came by the crib, first thing she said, Jimmy, they asked me, and I your friend, or they mean I your brother. And I'm very deficient, as you know, in answering the phone and returning the calls. <laughs> but Tio was the one who said, Jimmy, you gotta go ask it. I don't know. I might make some drastic and radical adjustments. Because Tio is no more. I don't know when. She will encourage me not to call me. But brother, God is in control. I will have it. Condolences to you, to the entire family. Sister Law, when you came over and you say, uh, come over to the agenda for discussion, I say, you consume all the news I can tell you other than you and have to see that based on analysis. Tio Sorrow is right now, but we know that in the morning there will be happiness, and because we stay in the love of God, grief and mourning and crying and pain do not stand a chance. God bless you. Safe travels.